So before the premiere of Power Rangers Cosmic Fury, executive producer Simon Pookie Bennett teased that Lord Zed would be taking over the planet Eltar, Zordon's homeworld. And when I read this, I got really excited. One, we'd finally see Eltar properly in the TV show. And two, maybe we get some more lore tie-in from the comics acknowledging Lord Zed's Eltarian roots, seeing him come back to his home planet to conquer it. Unfortunately, we didn't see any of that. Lord Zed's base on Eltar was mostly interior, and when we did see outside of the base, it was just Cure Ninja Zord battle footage when we got to see the planet Eltar. Plus, Simon later mentioned in an interview that the writers on the show don't really talk to Boom Studios, so there's that as well. Now, you're probably confused about what I was talking about earlier. Lord Zed from Eltar. Ash, what are you smoking? We saw Lord Zed at the end of Power Rangers in Space, and he was human. Yes, you are correct about that. But again, the comics take a very interesting turn when it comes to Lord Zed, taking him in a very different direction. Instead of toning him down like the TV show did, the comics completely ignore that, making Lord Zed this ruthless and calculating villain. He even forces Goldar to kill his own brother, and when he takes over the Moon Palace at the start of Season 2, he sends a bounty hunter after the Rangers to kill him. I don't know what you're thinking right now. I know what you're typing in the comments right now. You're thinking, Ash, that's great and all, but how does this tie into Lord Zed being from Eltar? Well, to explain that part, we have to flash back to 10,000 years ago. So Lord Zed wasn't always called Lord Zed. He used to be known as an Eltarian soldier known as Zolfram, and Zolfram used to be part of something called the Guardians of Eltar. This was basically Eltar's way of having protection across the galaxy, keeping it safe from the evil out there. And Zolfram's team would consist of Zardus and a young Zordon. Now, Zolfram would later on be promoted to Supreme Guardian, someone who would have a high ranking amongst the people of Eltar. And Zofram was kind of like a mentor to young Zordon, believing that he would be the next suitable choice to be the next Supreme Guardian if anything was to happen to him. During a mission on a very familiar moon, the Altarian soldiers soon stumble across Bandora's palace. And what do they find inside of Bandora's palace? Well, it's the Zeo Crystal guarded by the Bandorian monks. Now, the Zeo Crystal is sort of like a fabled legend throughout the universe of Power Rangers, and of course, Eltar has its own stories to go with it. So, the legend of Eltarians goes many years back, where the Morphin Grid used to be controlled by this chaos demon known by Tira, and the monster fed on Morphin Grid energy, and because it was feeding on Morphin Grid energy, it stopped nourishing the rest of the universe. But there was a savior who stepped forward called Zeon, and during the battle there was a moment where it seemed like Zeon was going to lose, but they faked their death, and during the moment where they faked their death they used that opportunity where Vaitira had their guard down and Zeon would plunge the Zeo crystal into their heart, saving the morphing grid. Now, Zordon is worried about the Zeo crystal falling into the wrong hands and suggests that Zolfram should take control of it, but Zolfram refuses because the council forbids anyone from using the Zeo crystal, believing that it's too dangerous. But Zordon also believes that Zolfram is frightened to use the Zeo crystal because of all the power it contains. But Zolfram tells Zordon to not to lecture him on fear because Dark Spectre has placed a bounty on him and ordered those people to do horrible things if he's ever captured. So the three decide to protect the Zeo crystal and never touch it. Later on, Zardus would travel back to the palace in secret and speak to the monks, requesting them to place a spell on the Zeo Crystal. This spell would be the spell we all know when the Zeo Crystal was first introduced into the TV show back in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Season 3, where you must have a pure heart to touch the Zeo Crystal. This would be setting up the ultimate double cross. Flashboard and an assassin sent by Dark Spectre comes looking for the Zeo Crystal. Zopram and Zordon battle against the assassin, but the two are barely able to hold their own, and Zordon seemingly dies in the battle. Seeing his close friend die, this pushes Zopram over the edge where he nearly beats the assassin to near death. Zordon miraculously survives the battle, but this is possibly due to the effects of the Zeo Crystal. But Zordon is still concerned about the crystal and tells Zofram to use it before Dark Spectre does. Zofram says he'll do what he can and confronts the council. Zofram suggests to the council that he brings the Zeo Crystal to Eltar because it's the safest place in the galaxy, but the council refuse. Due to the council refusing to listen, Zofram lashes out at them, saying that too many have died because of their way of doing things. And although the council tried to 
convince Zolfram that this is for the greater good, he refuses to listen, and Zolfram goes to the palace to take the Zeo crystal for himself. Despite the monk's warnings, he refuses to listen, and with a single touch of the Zeo crystal, Zolfram's body is ripped to shreds, the skin on his flesh being burnt off. Zanus finds Zofram's burnt corpse in the rubble and tells him it must be a setup, that someone had been plotting against him since the very beginning. With Zofram now reported as dead, Zordon is soon promoted to the new Supreme Guardian. But due to Zordon's knowledge of the Zeo Crystal, Zofram believes that Zordon was the one who set up the betrayal, the one who placed a spell on the Zeo Crystal. Zofram would later throw away his old identity and even his name. He'd travel across the galaxy planet to planet, learning spells to make himself more powerful. Eventually, he'd come face to face with Zordon on the battlefield, and the rest from there is history. But this story is far from over. Flash forward to the present day, and we know where Zed is, and we know where Zordon is right now, but what happened to Zardus? Well, Zardus became the next Supreme Guardian, and had taken matters into his own hand when it came to protecting the universe safe. He managed to take control of these deities known as Imperials. Imperials are basically like gods of destruction in the Power Rangers universe. They can blow up planets, so they're threats to be reckoned with. And what Zardus had did, any planets he viewed as problematic or wouldn't join forces with Eltar, he'd wipe them out. And seeing how Zordon wouldn't form an alliance with Zardus, well, this led to something called the Eltarian War. During the Eltarian War, Zed and Zordon would come face to face with each other, confronting their past and duking it out in a hand-to-hand -hand fight. But the two mortal enemies would soon have to form an unlikely alliance to face off against their old comrade, Zardus. Here we learn why why Zed was betrayed all those years ago, and it's because Zardus felt betrayed that he wasn't made Supreme Guardian, believing that he was a better choice. The two of them combined are barely a match for Zardus, but remembering the story of Zeon, Zordon is able to drive the Zeo Crystal into Zardus' heart, leaving nothing behind. After the war, Zed and Zordon have this heart-to-heart -heart talk, where Zed questions the saying, may the power protect you, saying that it's nonsense that there's some energy watching over the universe because it can't be real. Because where was it when Zed was terrorizing the universe? Where was it when the Imperials were destroying planets? But Zordon says that the saying comes from our actions and our decisions. It's what we think and what we do when no one is watching. It's what we are. Zordon soon apologizes to his old friend and what happened to him, saying that if there was any way he could sacrifice himself to turn Zed back into the man he once was, he'd find a way. But Zed simply replies with by saying he was never that man to begin with. With the Altarian War now over, Zed tells his minions to pack their things because they're going somewhere where they can revel in their victory, because you never know that tragedy could be waiting around every corner. And as Zed says that, he removes his helmet, throws it to the ground, and walks away. So that was the origins of Lord Zed and how he became the way he was. So if you haven't read the Power Ranger comics before, I'm sure this is a big shock to you guys who people are mostly familiar with the TV show, but the origins of Lord Zed in the comics and his relationship with Zordon and his history with Zordon is some of the best writing I've ever read when it comes to Power Rangers and fleshing out characters and their backstories because Lord Zed in the TV show was just this guy that would always be plotting and planning wanting to destroy the Rangers. Here in the comics they give him a reason why he hates Zordon and it's not because the Morphin Grid says so because the balance of good and evil like they have history together and although they sort of come to terms with that history in the end we kind of know where their story goes and that final line that Zordon says if I could sacrifice my way to make you the man that you once were I definitely find a way which is an excellent line because it hints at Power Rangers in space with what happened to Lord Zed at the end of that season but that is the origins of Lord Zed in the Power Rangers comic. Tell me what you guys thought of the backstory in the comment section down below. If you want to read this comic for yourself, I definitely recommend checking out the Mighty Morphin slash Power Rangers hardcover books. You can get Volume 1 and Volume 2. That covers everything we talked about in this video. I'll leave a link in the description down below if you want to check them out for yourself. But also you can find these comics digitally online if you want to read them that way as well. But anyway guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Take care and see you around.